I am forsaking vanity for the sake of making another video. I just woke up, which you can probably tell, and I haven't washed my hair in like a week. And I'm wearing my Rock Out With Your Cupcake Out t-shirt that I got um, courtesy of uh, Cupcake Royale yesterday. I've been to so many cupcake bakeries, I can't remember their names. And I'm a little sad to be leaving Seattle. I'm also really excited. I miss home. I miss, like, writing, which I thought I would do and I sort of never do anymore. Um, I just spent some of the morning reading this Seattle magazine about love and lust, and there is so much great stuff. Um, they called Mary Kay Letourneau and Billy Thilau's affair a tragedy. And apparently there is a store called Paper Art Delights that has a cupcake bedazzling kit. And I found out about like awesome new plays and um, what else? Oh, a Kurt Cobain exhibit that starts in May, the Seattle Art Museum, and another cool exhibit. And um, they just had a interesting pieces. One was about um, why are there so many love and sex experts in Seattle, and they found out that Pepper Schwartz, whose uh, memoir Prime I read a few years ago, um, she wrote a book when she was 22 called How to Have Sex on Campus Without Getting Screwed. I thought that was pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah, um, last night I came to my room and I thought I was going to just puke because I ate so much food and it's still like digesting, which is kind of disgusting. busy, crazy day, and part of me just wants to stay in bed, but that would be a bad vacationer, or visitor, or tourist, or whatever, so I'm not going to do that, but uh, I have a red-eye flight home, and then I go to work directly from the airport, as long as the snow allows me to, and then Saturday, I have to teach at Chag, and Sunday morning, I leave at 6 in the morning for Minneapolis, and that kind of crazy, but for right now I'm just going to try to enjoy the rest of the day in Seattle.